Hello buddies, welcome to Pathfinder Kingmaker. We're getting ready for battle because the turn-based mode is in the game. And I just wanted to do this video to uh, tell you guys it's there now. You can download it on Steam or GOG or wherever you have your game. And uh, well, you can activate it right now. Remember to uh, remove your mods because the game is updated and the mods won't work. So you can't have any mods running right now. Wait until they are updated. The turn-based mode you can turn on um, in-game by pressing T or in the options menu in the game menu down at the bottom here, uh, turn-based combat mode. And you can turn it off or on uh, as you uh, as you feel like. You can set the auto end turn as well. You can also set move the camera to the acting character or lock the camera on the moving character. Uh, this is uh, this is nice. Gives you some freedom. Uh, you can also increase the party animation speed up to ten times during turn based. This is a really nice, really nice addition. If uh, if you feel like the turn based is going a bit too slow, you can always speed this up. Um, always display a companion's hit points or enemy's hit points, which is actually um, pretty nice because they added a new thing as well that I'm going to show. Uh, you also have the show combat text for the dice rolls and characters' attacks. Now, as you see, I've turned this off, but I'll turn it on and you'll see why I've turned it, turned it off. Um, so, uh, quickly, how to explain this. Um, you have this bar here. This bar is your turn. You have five foot step, you have move action, you have standard action, and you have free and swift actions. Whenever you mouse over something, let's say this ear piercing screen, it will tell you that this is a standard action, which means that you will spend your standard action. After that, you can use your move action, your free action, or your swift action. This cure light wounds also, this is also a standard action. I have someone uh, who doesn't have a st standard action. The move is fairly easy. Um, it'll show you where the character is going to move. The green is within the uh, move action. So that means that you can move and still take your standard action, for instance, casting a spell. Um, but you can also just mouse over the thylacine here, for instance. You can't daze that one. But if I click this, it will uh, show you that if if I were uh, further away, it would move to the point where it can cast it and then cast it. Now, I'm just going to inspire courage here. And to end turn, you either click here or hit the space button. Now, 17 versus 18. I, I th That seems... Okay, um, 17 versus armor class 18, that didn't hit. The problem is, that's not really what's happening. So the roll is a 17, that's right. But the versus uh, is wrong. Because my armor class is 20. So so the rolls make absolutely no sense to me. I haven't... I've, I've sat there just looking at these numbers and trying to figure out why it's doing this and showing this. But uh, but I cannot figure it out. So let's try again. Charge. One versus four. One versus four. She rolled a one. But, but what is the four? I have no idea. So that that's the only thing. I turned it off um, because the, the numbers simply confuse me. Uh, I wish it was true right so i didn't have to my mouse over to see this except if i wanted to see oh what was my bonuses what was my um uh, enemies uh, armor class penalties or stuff like that but uh but yeah you'll still need to do that to uh to see the correct roles <laughs> one by the way uh, as you can see here i chose a paladin this time around and she can smite evil which is a swift action. Swift action means that this action will not impair you in any way. 
you can take one swift action or one free action every single turn and uh, and it won't affect your the rest of the turn so i could do smite on this one and then i could uh, fight defensively as well turn that on that's not going to affect anything um, and then i can attack pretty cool it works very nicely and very seamlessly um, there can be some issues with the mouse getting stuck right now uh, sometimes it seems like it's it's laggy but it's not and uh, sometimes it's just uh, the music t t taps out for a sec um, you can also delay up here if you uh, if you feel like oh I wanted to I wanted to go after uh, seraphim then you can delay your turn let's delay choose a position in the initiative queue to delay the character's turn and then you put your character in exactly where you want to you want to be um, that could be after Lindsay because you want to activate inspire courage before charging with a miri which is really cool there you go and the the initiative score will be her uh initiative score then from from now on uh, let's do this and then end turn because i don't want to move it automatically ends the turn if you spend all your actions Nice miss. Very nice, Valerie. And then we have a move action. And you. There we go. Cool. So that that is actually um, that's actually what 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 turn based is. It works really well. I'm I'm very impressed with the way they've made this into uh, into the game and uh, I'm, I'm i'm really really happy that it's there it was something that was missing from the get-go and uh luckily we got a mod that could take over that role but this is this seems to be working better um the five foot step works i've tested it it actually works and uh in general i'm really really happy about this so yeah, that's just the, the gist of it and the, the quick overview of the turn-based mode. If you want to see more Pathfinder Kingmaker, I have a lot of gameplay videos on my channel. And uh, yeah, go check those out. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful game night.